Thank you so much for joining us for our Better Balance class. Um, I'm Jamie and I will be taking you through a workout today. Um, of course, we will start with a little bit of a warm up. We'll get into our workout and then we'll do some stretches at the end. What you will need, of course, is a sturdy chair, kind of sturdy, steady chair. Um, if you want to grab a water bottle, um, go ahead and grab that. Um, and then we will get started. All right, so we're gonna start here just with some shoulder and neck exercises. Um, let's just begin right ear down to that right shoulder blade, just nice and relaxed. Hold it here for a few seconds and then take it up and over to the other side, nice and slow, dropping that left ear down to the left shoulder blade. Good, come back up. Hands drop to our sides. We're gonna go into shoulder rolls. Shoulders up and back. And then take those shoulder rolls forward. Good, we're gonna go into small little arm circles. We're gonna raise those arms up as we circle them up to about shoulder height. And then we're gonna reverse the direction of that circle and then lower the hands back down. And then we're gonna switch again the direction of the circles, come back up to about shoulder height, circle, circle up, switch the direction, and then circle back down. We're gonna do one more up and down. Once again, circle, lift up, and then slowly circle back down. And then we're gonna bring our hands out in front and then just roll those wrists around a couple times, one direction. And then a couple times, of course, in the other direction. And then we're gonna open those arms nice and big. We're just gonna do a little clap forward Clap back behind you. Forward, back. No worries if you can't bring your hands back together and actually clap behind you. Just reach them back and then reach them forward. Back and forward, back and forward. A couple more times. Good, one more forward and back and then bring your hands, just bend those elbows, bring those hands in front. We're gonna just twist side to side. We're gonna twist to one side and then come back to center. Twist slowly to the other side. Come back to center. Good, torso, head fall, falls in line with the torso as you move to one side. Come back to center. Twist and rotate to the other side. Come back to center. Good, one more to each side. Good, and then let those hands just fall to our sides. We're just gonna do alternating legs. We're just gonna lift those legs up, extend the leg and lift it off the ground. Good, little lifts of the leg up and down. Good, if you need a little assistance, just take your hands under that thigh to help lift your legs up. Let's do two more on each side. And one more. And then we're gonna take our hands underneath that left thigh, lift that left leg off the ground, and I just want you to point and flex that left toe. Point it forward. Flex up and down, point and flex a few times. And then of course we'll do the same thing on the other side. You'll take your hands underneath that right thigh, 
extend the leg, and then point and flex that right toe. And a few times more. And one more here. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to start with some hand exercises here to begin. All right, so we're just going to take those hands, kind of palms facing out, and we're going to go nice and slow. We're just going to close those fingertips like you're making a fist. Bring those hands together, make that fist, and then we're going to slowly open those hands right back up. We're going to do four slow. Close those hands, make that fist. Slowly, slowly, open back up. Let's do two more slow. Make that fist. Open back up. And then one more slow. Bring those hands together. And then slowly open back up. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to quicken our pace. We're going to close and open. Close, open. Close, open, good, four more. And one more, good, very good. All right, next one here. We're gonna do some finger circles. So again, hands up. We're gonna take each finger and press it to the thumb, one at a time, making those circles with those fingers. Good, press each finger one at a time. We'll do one arm at a time. And then switch, other side, press to the thumb, press to the thumb, making those circles as best as you can, one finger at a time. Switch back to the other hand, press together, press together. If you can't bring those hands together and press, just do the best you can, bringing them as close together as you can to form that circle if you're able to. Good. Other hand. Good. And last one here. All right, keep those hands out. We're gonna bring those fingers together and then we're gonna spread those finger, fingers all the way out nice and wide. Bring them together and then open and take those fingers nice and wide. Good, together, open wide. Together, open. Together, open. Four more. Good, one more here. Then we're gonna do three open and close, nice and slow. Nice and slow, close. Open back up, nice and slow. Close. Open. One more slow. And then now we're gonna quicken our pace and we're gonna do eight of these quick, ready? Close, open, close, open. Good, four more quick, four, three, two. We're gonna go into those finger circles one more time. Let's do one hand at a time. Good, press together, then all the way back. Press together, making those circles. Other hand, press together, press together. These are so good if you might have um, arthritis in your hands. A lot of these exercises will really help. Good, other hand. We're gonna go one more time through on each hand. And back. 
Good. And then we're going to take the fingertips together and then spread them apart. Together, spread them apart. Good. Four more. Three, two, and one. Good. And then relax the arms. Good. If they're feeling fatigued, shake those arms out a little bit. Keep them nice and loose here. All right, next one here. We're going to keep our hands down here, kind of palms facing down. We're going to do some finger lifts. So one finger at a time is going to lift off of your legs here. So just little lifts, one at a time, as best as you can. We're going to do, of course, each hand. Lift, 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 lift. And then go back through each finger. You can do this on a table. You can do this on your legs. If you're just sitting at your desk one, oop, I missed one. If you're sitting at your desk, maybe one day or just sitting on the couch during a commercial. These are things that you can do just to kind of exercise those hands a little bit. Good. And then we're going to lift our hands again. We're going to drop our palms till they're about parallel to the ground. So you're just dropping the palms down and then lifting those hands back up. So drop and lift, drop and lift. Good, this should feel really good on the wrist here as you drop those palms down and up, parallel to the ground, four more like this, and then we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna drop those hands all the way down and back one more. All right, now we're gonna drop those fingertips down and back so those knuckles are facing forward and then all the way back up. Drop the fingertips down and back. You can do one arm at a time or of course both arms drop together. Good, down and back. Lift up, four more on each uh, arm here. Four, good, and three and two, good, and one. Now we're gonna keep our hands parallel to the ground. All right, so we're just gonna bend at the knuckles here and then straighten the fingertips. Just bend, both hands work together, just bend at the knuckles. Straighten the arm, or finger, not the arms, the fingertips. Bend the knuckles, straighten the fingertips. Bend. Straighten out, bend, straighten out. Good, four more like this. One more. And then now we're gonna do almost like piano fingers here. So like one, uh, one finger at a time, you're just gonna bend at the knuckle. We're gonna go through each hand, just a little bend, 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 then switch arms. And switch, other hand. And we're gonna go one more time through on each hand here. Bend. Good, and then one more time. Take those hands up. Just drop those palms till they're parallel to the ground. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Good, four more. And then we're gonna drop those fingertips all the way down and back, and then lift those hands back up. Drop them down and up. Good, one more. Good, and then relax those arms, good. All right, 
uh, for the next one here. We're going to clasp our hands together and we're going to start up near our left shoulder blade. We're just going to bring those hands down right outside our right thigh here and then back up to our left shoulder blade. So it's almost like a little chopping motion with your hands. You're going to chop and then lift back up. Left shoulder blade to right hip. Up, chop down. Up, chop those hands down. Good, up and down. Good, four more and then we're going to switch sides. All right, good. Now take those hands up to the right shoulder blade and then we're going to chop down outside that left thigh. Back up to the right shoulder blade, chop down and up, chop. Good, chop. Good, let's do four more here. Good, one more here. And then you can just take those hands to your sides. We're going to do a little uh, jump rope arms. So we're going to twirl those arms at your sides. Twirling the wrist, take those arms, circle them one direction like you've got a jump rope. All right, grab that jump rope and we're going to start twirling those arms. Good, a couple more and then we're going to switch the direction of our jump rope twirl. Two more. And then go ahead and twirl backwards, other direction. Good, four more here. Good, and one, good, very nice. All right, now we're gonna come a little bit forward on your chair here. And we're just gonna do a little side bend. So we're gonna reach our right hand, just reach it down to the side of that right leg. No worries if you can't reach the ground, but just reach that right hand down. And then we're gonna come up and we're gonna reach that right hand up and over our head to the left side. And now we're gonna take that same arm, reach all the way back down towards the floor, outside that right leg and then reach all the way up and over. Just reach that hand up as high as you're able to bring it. Reach back down outside that right leg and then up and over. Let's do one more and then we're gonna switch our hands. Reach down and then up and over. All right, now left arm is going to do the work. We're going to reach that left hand down outside that left foot, almost like a little side bend here, and then take that hand up and over your head to the right. Reach down to the left, up and over to the right. Good, reach down. We're going to do two more here. Reach up and over. Good. One more. Reach down. Good. And up and over. Good. Very nice. All right. So we're going to start uh, with just some seated marches here. And then we're going to add a little kick out in front. So we're just going to start with little marches in place, lifting our knees up. If you need a little assistance, of course, just take your hands under the thighs as you march it out. So knees up, alternating them one at a time, lift up. And then this is going to lead to a little kick out. You're still going to lift your knees, but you're going to add a little toe kick in front. So we're going to lift the knee, kick your leg out. Pull it back in, drop it down. Then, of course, you'll switch legs. Lift, kick, back down. Lift and kick. They don't have to be real high kicks, of course. Just a little kick out of that toe. Good. If you're able to, lift that knee, kick it out. 
kick it out. Lift and kick. Lift and kick. Do, uh, we're gonna go a couple more. We're gonna do four more on each leg. And one more on each side. Good, very nice. All right, so you can come back a little bit in your chair for the next one. All right, next one, um, we're gonna do a little rope pull. All right, so we're gonna pretend that we've got a rope in front of us and we're gonna do a little rope pull. So alternating hands are gonna reach out for that rope in front. So you're gonna reach and extend your hand out like you're pulling on that rope and then of course reach that other hand out and then pull that rope in towards you. Reach one hand out at a time and pull it in towards the body. Good, big arms extend out as long as you can and then pull that rope in. So keep going with those alternating arms. Good, pulling that rope in towards you. Good, reach out, reach out. Good, we're gonna do two more on each arm. Good, one more. Good, and then relax here for a couple seconds. We're gonna go into ladder arms next. All right, so like we're climbing a ladder here, okay, in case we have to get up. Well, hopefully you're not getting up on too tall of a ladder, but if you ever need to get up a little bit and we're climbing up that ladder, we're gonna reach our hands up like we're climbing that ladder. So reach one arm up at a time, and then we're gonna add some legs here in a couple seconds. Good, start with those arms reaching up, and then we're gonna add that opposite leg. You're gonna bring that knee up, right arm, left knee, left arm, right knee. So up that ladder, opposite arm and leg are working together. Reach up, arm up, knee up, arm up, knee up. Good, keep alternating. Good, and a couple more. And one more on each side. Good, very nice. All right, take a water break if you need it. We're gonna come to standing uh, near, our, uh, near our chair here, so carefully take your time to come back up for some standing exercises here. Okay, so we're gonna start here with a toe slide. Okay, so we're gonna do alternating legs here. Um, both hands just gently, uh, if you'd like, on the back of your chair, or one hand and you can face sideways. We are gonna alternate legs, but I'll show you from the side so that you know what it looks like here. All right, so we're gonna keep our toe on the floor and we're gonna just slide one toe all the way back and then of course slide that leg forward. Then of course you'll switch legs. So again, toe slides back. You're just extending that leg back and then slide it forward. Slide back, slide forward. Again, toe just stays on the floor as you slide back. Good, when you extend your leg back, You'll feel a little bit in the glutes here. If you feel anything in the lower back, just take a less in that range of motion of your leg. Just don't slide it back as far. Okay, you want to feel this in the glute and legs, not in the lower back. Good, slide back a couple more times on each side with that toe slide. Good, and let's go one more on each side. Good, very good. All right, for your next one, 
All right, we're gonna do a little heel lift to toe lift. So again, you can keep both hands um, on the chair, facing the chair, but I'm just gonna show you from the front um, so you can kind of see where I'm at. But you're gonna simply lift your heels. We're gonna drop the heels and then you're gonna lift your toes. So heels up, drop the heels, toes up. And of course, this can be one foot at a time instead of both feet. So just lift the heels, drop the heels, lift the toes. So kind of forward and back, little motion here. Heels up, drop the heels, toes up. Up, lift, up, and lift. Good, a couple more here. Let's do one more. Good. All right, now we're gonna just do a little bit of a walk. You can just stay right near your chair, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you're feeling okay with your balance today, you can of course do this unassisted without your chair. Otherwise, just make it small little steps. We're simply gonna do three steps forward and then we're gonna come back three steps back. Make sure you're taking your heel down to your toe, so kind of a heel to toe motion. And again, we're gonna alternate uh, forward and back, three steps forward, three steps back. But again, these can be small little steps so that you're holding on the whole time, okay? All right, but here we go. So we're just gonna do one, two, and three forward, and then we're gonna take it back. One, two, three steps back. Three forward, one, two, three, and of course back. Good, light little pumping arms at your sides here. Good, heels down, toes down. And we'll go forward and back a couple more times. Remember that chair is here to help you, so don't go too far away from that chair. Don't stray too far away back from it. If you're just feeling a little uneasy, again, stay here and hold on. We're gonna go two more times, forward and back. Good, and one more time, let's go forward and back. Right, from here we're gonna go into some straight leg marches. So, marching legs. So like we're a big soldier here and we're just marching those straight legs out. And then we're gonna add some arms. If you feel comfortable here, we're gonna add some alternating pumping arms. So if you feel comfortable, you can add those arms. If not, just legs only. So straight legs out and march. March. Get a couple more of these straight leg marches. Good, and one more. Good, and then shake it out a little bit here. Okay, we have one more standing here. Okay, so we're gonna picture a box on the floor, so a square box here. All right, again, hold on and make it a small little box, or if you're feeling okay with your balance again, you can step slightly away and make it a bigger box, but we're basically just gonna to step to the corner of each box, okay? So you've got that imaginary square on the ground, and you're just gonna step it out to each corner. Step it out. So again, that box can be a small, or as big as you want to make it, just step it out. Step it out, each corner. Good, we're gonna go a few more times around our box.
Good, and one more time all the way around, and then we're gonna go back to our seated position here. Good, very nice. All right, we are almost done. Back to your seated position here. All right, um, back to a little bit of arms here. We're gonna take those hands out to the side and we're gonna take those fingertips and we're gonna drive those fingertips up and back, almost like big um, forklift arms. And then bring those hands back down to that start where they were about parallel to the ground. Again, fingertips are gonna reach up and over and of course, you can do alternating arms or keep those arms working together. Good, back to parallel and then reach up and over. Good, we're gonna do three more of our forklifts. Good, and then one more. Good. And then bring your hands back together. We're gonna clasp our hands together. We're gonna take those clasped arms up over our head and you're gonna try to keep the biceps or your elbows nice and close to your ears. We're gonna lower those clasped hands down behind the head and then lower, or excuse me, extend the hands back up. Lower down, extend back up. So those elbows are gonna wanna wing away from your ears. They're gonna wanna come out here. Do the best you can to keep them in as close as you can. Okay, this is gonna help isolate the back of the arms, which is what we're trying to work here. We don't want those jiggly arms, right? So we're trying to avoid that and work on the triceps, okay? So this is a good one for your triceps. Lower back down behind the head and then lift back up. We're gonna do four more. Okay, breathe through all the exercises, breathing out. Good, and then one more. And then gently lower the hands down behind your head. So you can take your fingertips like behind your finger, uh, fingertips behind your ears, or you can clasp your hands together behind your head just to support your head here. Um, another thing, good thing and for some of these head and neck exercises, um, when we're clasping behind our head, is just to take your fingertips um, and then you're just gonna press them down, going down your, your neck here. So that just gives you a little extra support for some of these. Um, okay, but anyhow, hands either behind the ears or clasp them together. Again, uh, thumbs down if you'd like. All right, we're just gonna bring the elbows and we're gonna close them together in front of your face and then open back up. So elbows come together as close as you can bring them in front and then open those elbows back up. So together and then open up. Good, four more here. Good, and one more. Good, and then relax those arms, awesome. All right, great job everybody. We're gonna go into a few stretches here. So come a little bit forward in your chair. Go ahead and extend your right leg out with that heel down on the floor. We're just gonna gently drop our chest and reach your hands forward towards that right toe. So just drop and hold your stretch. 
We'll go about 10 seconds with each stretch here. And then just always slowly come back up, roll up out of that stretch. Um, before we finish on the right leg, I want you to take your hands underneath that right thigh and just lift that right foot off the ground. And we're gonna go into some ankle circles. Just circle that ankle a couple times around one direction. And then of course we'll go in the other direction a couple times. And then switch legs. Extend your left leg out with that heel down on the ground. Gently drop your chest and reach your hands forward towards that left toe. Good, just slow, sustained stretch here for 10. And then we're gonna slowly come back up. Good, roll up, and then we're gonna take our hands underneath that left thigh, lift that left foot off the ground, and go ahead and roll the ankle a couple times, one direction. And then of course, we'll go a couple times in the other direction. Good, and then place both of those feet back down. We're gonna clasp our hands here at the elbows. We're gonna pull those elbows all the way over to your right side, and then you're just gonna turn your head and look over the right shoulder blade. Good, just hold that stretch here for about 10 seconds, and then we'll switch to the other side. And then go ahead and pull those elbows all the way over to the left. And again, just look over that left shoulder blade. One more time to each side. Pull the elbows to the right. Look over the right shoulder blade. And then switch. Good, we're gonna take our left hand. You're just gonna reach it up. If you can reach it up to the sky just as high as you can. We're gonna very um, gently, we're gonna take our right hand to that left wrist, even if it's out here, and then just a little stretch through that shoulder blade, just a little lift on that arm, pulling it up just till you feel a very gentle stretch in that shoulder blade. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right hand reaches up. We're gonna grab that right wrist with your left hand. And again, just a very gentle stretch straight up. And then pull the hands in front of the chest. Just bring your palms and fingertips together. Let's go ahead and drop those fingertips down and up. Good, four more here. And then we're gently just gonna let those hands fall to our sides. And then we'll finish here, right ear down to that right shoulder blade, just hold your stretch. And then we're gonna roll it to the other side, drop that chin, take that left ear down to the left shoulder blade. Again, just nice gentle stretch here on the other side. and then back to center and then just relax everything. So great job at home. Thank you again so much for joining us. It's been awesome uh, working out with you all. Uh, stay safe and stay, stay healthy. Thank you.